Are you wondering how's the weather in Cape Town? Then watch this video for seven things you need to know that will help you prepare and pack better for your holiday in less than five minutes. For the best traveling guides and reviews, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every week. If you're visiting Cape Town and wondering which activities to do, by the end of this video, I invite you to watch my five minutes guides playlist so you can start planning your trip. Also, to receive the best discounts and promotions in Cape Town for your traveling dates, make sure to go ahead and obtain your email in the description box below this video. Without further talk, here's seven things you need to know about Cape Town's weather before traveling. Number one, summer weather. Cape Town summer is something very close to Mediterranean weather, meaning it's dry and often fairly windy with stunning views to admire, which last from November to the end of March. The average day temperature is 23 degrees Celsius, but it can often get as high as 35 degrees on the warmest month, which is January. But be aware that February can be as hot, if not warmer. Number two, winter weather. Also known as the green season when it's rainier, Cape Town's winter begins as soon as the first cold front from the Atlantic Ocean rolls in. Sunshine, rain, and windy days will all be experienced during a typical winter, where the average high temperature is 17 degrees with a minimum of eight in June, July, and August. So if you're visiting Cape Town during this season and you're wondering what on earth to pack, the best idea is to take something for every season. Winter is all about layering your clothing, both thin and thick layers that you can easily put on or peel off when necessary. Number three, beach season. Cape Town's beaches can happily be enjoyed all year long wearing the right layer of clothing. But if you're planning on getting a tan, the city enjoys a temperate climate with warm, dry conditions from October to April. Take note that temperature peak in between December and February, which is the most popular time for a Cape Town beach holiday. Number four, windy days. Wind is certainly a feature of summer in Cape Town, with predominant one coming from the southeast, blowing up the cool ocean and making the hotter days in Cape Town more bearable. This cool ocean wind is also known as the Cape Doctor and blows most during January and February, which is well loved by wind sport enthusiasts such as kite surfers. Also, it can have you reach for a cardigan or a light jacket, even when temperatures are on the outside. So make sure to always keep one handy, especially when you go out at nighttime. One last thing, if you're planning to get a tan out of the wind, then head over to Out Bay Beach or one of the Fort Clifton beaches. Number five, rainy days. We all know how the drought last year affected the city's water supply due to lack of rainy days. Thanks to Mother Nature, Rain has come back and dam level have now reached 50% of their full capacity. Normally, from November to April, the city has an average of 3 to 4 rainy days a month. On the peak of the winter season, on the other hand, this can go up to 10 days. So if you're planning to visit Cape Town during winter, make sure to bring along the right clothing. Number 6. Cloudy days. Very different from the one experienced in Europe or North America, it usually simply means that the sky will be covered with some sort of cappuccino frost, leaving most of the time the sunshine true. Please note that the weather can change very quickly. This is why cloudy days tends to become sunny days and also the reason why they often say that you can experience the four season in one day. Furthermore, cloudy days rarely affect any outdoor activities you are planning on doing, to the exception of hiking, because the top of the mountain could be covered with clouds and in the case of Table Mountain, you could not take the cable car down. Finally, when there are clouds, make sure to keep your eyes on Table Mountain to get the chance to see the legendary tablecloth, which looks like a waterfall of clouds falling over the mountain. Number seven, the sun. It's no secret that the African sun can be very strong. So don't forget to apply a layer of sunblock before spending any amount of time outdoor. Recommended 50 and reapply halfway through the day, especially when your body is not used to the sun, which can bring to sunburns and sunny days spent inside. Also, to help you cope more effectively with the heat, make sure to wear a hat and keep well hydrated at all time, especially when hiking. Now that you know exactly what to expect of the weather while visiting this incredible city and would love to receive discounts and promotions regarding a diversity of activities in Cape Town, then make sure to go ahead and opt in your email in the description box below this video for your traveling dates. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, join me on Facebook, Instagram at The Bold Stylist, Subscribe for more travel guides and comment below with helpful if this video helped you. Thanks for watching, keep on traveling and I will see you guys in my next video.